Have you seen Arcane? I honestly feel like everyone has seen Arcane at this point. But if somehow you haven't yet, let me help you out. It's this quote unquote utopia and unrest has been on the rise to say the least. The rich people of Piltover and the seedy oppressed Unbury of Zaun are on the brink of another war. Yes, another war. And our girls Vi and Jinx find themselves split apart and fighting on opposite sides of this conflict. Well, I mean, kinda. But yeah, you heard me right, Jinx and Vi, characters from the game League of Legends, which makes this the best video game show ever. We see characters both try to stop and start this possible war, and throughout, we see characters with amazing skills and various different um, abilities to say. Like Jace with his axe, Jinx with her guns and bombs, and Vi, oh, Vi. Honestly, I think she's the best fighter of the whole lot of them. And so I decided I think I could make her fighting style in real life. So let's see how I did it. What's up guys, this is Omni Ninja wearing a and a superhero hat and welcome to The Modern Ninja. This is basically a series where I take some of your favorite characters from fiction, anime, cartoons, whatever, and figure out if you can fight like them and create their fighting style or an equivalent in real life. Today we're going over the coolest of the cool, baddest of the bad, sickest of the sick herself. Vi from Arcane. Vi's character relies on her fists, her wit, and agility to get by in this crazy world she lives in. Using her parkour skills to get from building to building when outrunning the law or just trying to score her most recent break in loot. So obviously we're going to have to give her some parkour skills under her belt. And I've used parkour for several other characters in the series, but for those that don't know, parkour is a highly athletic sport that requires people to get from point A to point B in the fastest way they can, all while using different flips, rolls, spin, leaps, twists, and falls to do it. It actually has roots in military training. It actually shows up in the obstacle courses that would make recruits run through, and in recent times, it's even grown to become a sport known as chase tag or extreme tag. But having this as our base movement will allow our body to have the flow that Vi has in everything she does, because that parkour base trickles into pretty much everything else. Next, we're getting into some boxing training, and this should be of no surprise to anyone that's seen the show. I mean, she literally wears giant boxing gloves on her hands with magic -y tech inside of them. But even before that, Vi shows her proficiency in her boxing skills versus the boys that outweigh and outnumber her. She has the soul of Mike Tyson and it shows. The way she puts down bigger opponents on the regular is no small feat, truly, even as a child. However, for her very solid and tanky attacks, she doesn't have a very tanky defense. When she gets hit, she gets hit. And so she avoids it at all costs, relying on the GOAT himself, Muhammad Ali. Relying on quick dodges and well-timed attacks as opposed to a more uh, bulldozy tactic that would see, you would see from many tank type classes. And for her size, it works wonders. So if it wasn't obvious, boxing is going to be the main course as far as her combat is concerned. Yes, it blends in with our uh, parkour, but the combat is significantly boxing. But if boxing is the main course, then Krav is gonna be like the side dish in this situation for sure. At a glance, it seemed like it should be the other way around. I mean, Krav is literally designed for nothing, and I mean nothing, but actual war. It's an Israeli martial art developed for the Israeli, Israeli defense forces. I, mean, I swear I can't speak English, guys. It's considered to be one of the deadliest martial arts out there. They made this whole style with one goal and one goal alone. Not sport, not performance, war. Only war. And that's exactly what Vi is dealing with. A war, well, the potential of one. And so as great as it would be for her to rely on that entirely, that's just not how it is. She definitely relies on boxing. However, Krav will give her the basics of kicks, 
powerful knees and elbows, and some grappling techniques that she definitely needs and uses throughout the show. And with her technique not being the absolute cleanest, it just makes more sense that uh, those Krav influences are sprinkled in. So training Krav is number two on our combat list. Lastly, you're gonna wanna get some practice, like some serious practice. Vi is a very aggressive fighter. She knows her weaknesses and prefers to strike fast before they can strike her. It keeps them on their heels, which is great for someone who can't take hits super well. So you're definitely gonna wanna get into plenty of fights, specifically and ideally fights in the ring. Get used to people throwing punches at you, learn to stay calm and keep your cool as the hits start coming and uh, allowing you to dodge fluidly without getting stiff or scared and train yourself to time your own blocks and counter strikes appropriately. Because with enough training, you can start to learn other people's tells. And those are the little hints that people have before they throw a move. Maybe it's leaning back before they kick or rearing back for a punch or something like that. The, like the list of tells that people can have is super long. For example, a lot of people will like look down before they throw a kick or look up before they throw a punch. They'll, they'll lead with their eyes. And no matter how long you've been training, pretty much everyone has some kind of tell. And with enough practice, you will see the patterns and for untrained people be able to almost predict what they're gonna do, and for trained people be able to see what is likely coming, even though it's harder to tell the more someone trains. But after all that is said and done, dye your head red and grab some metal gauntlets because you are ready for the legends. <laughs> the League of Legends. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not proud of that one. I'm not gonna lie. But make sure to check out the playlist for this series so you see all the previous characters I've done, like Mandalorian and Zoro from One Piece. And subscribe so you see all the future characters I'll do, because I got some cool ones in the works for you guys that and most of them I've taken from the comment section of my videos. But either way, until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Kim Possible, another cartoon favorite, or this one YouTube thinks you'll enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.